Hi, welcome to LessonsWithTroy.com. I'm Troy Brennemeyer. Well, this is Volume 2 of my Backup and Soloing Essentials for Resonator Guitar. In the Volume 1, we worked in the key of G, and I showed you, you know, the basic shapes, your uh, chords, scales, etc. Well, in this one, we're doing the same thing, but there's all different shapes, different scales. So what we'll be working with, I'll just go ahead and list it out here. We'll be working with the scales. We'll be working with major scale, the minor pentatonic, and the blues scale mostly in open position and this is so you can use a capo and play in other keys okay I'll be showing you um, the one four and five chord you know your most common chords in this key and also your two three and six chords your your minor chords and I'll show you different shapes and different ways to play each one of these chords I'll also we'll be working with chord tones I'll show you where the root the third and the fifth of each one of these chords are in different locations on the neck of your instrument so I'll really help you when you're playing backup or wanting to solo and go to a note that fits over that chord. Okay. Well, I'll also be showing you licks over each one of these chords, and it'll be three licks per chord. And one lick will resolve on the root, another will resolve on the third of the chord, and another will resolve on the fifth of the chord. So that being said, let's go and get started. Okay, well, let's run through each one of these licks here, and I'll show you close-ups of the left hand and close-ups of the right hand so you know exactly what I'm doing. Okay, there in measure 55, this is a D chord lick that's going to end on the root note. Sounds like this. Right, I'm playing my fourth string, second string, and first string. And you really want to keep that bar as straight as you can. And you're just sliding in from fret 6 to fret 7. And then ending on your third and fourth string there. Now that's ending basically on this, this note D, which is the root note of our D major chord. And that's how each one of these licks will go. I'll end it on a different, um, for each chord, we'll end one on the root, and another lick on the third, and another lick on the fifth of the chord. So there's tons of different licks you can do, but I'm just giving you some examples. Right. so there's one ending on the root there. But you have your bar pulled back here, so your first string is open. You should see what I'm doing there. Okay, let's check out the right hand. Okay, here's the right hand for that D chord lick that's ending on the root. You're just using your thumb, index, and middle. And I just end it there with my thumb and index. Just like that. Now what I do is after that first one, I touch them, and that kind of mutes them out. Because you got to move back your bar back to your sixth fret. Side. So if you touch them, that mutes them out. Just like that. Okay, let's move on to the next lick. Okay, our next lick starts there in measure 56, and this is a D chord lick that's going to end on this note. That F sharp, that's the major third of our D chord, right? Our one, or our one chord. Remember, you can use a capo and play any of these licks. Just, uh, you know, move them accordingly, you know, to whatever fret you put it on. Um, okay, put the capo on. So um, here it is. This is a D chord lick that's going to end on that major third. Okay, so here it sounds. Just to run up that D major scale starting on the note E here. That's two, slide up to four on my fourth string, open third, second fret on my third, and then hammer on zero to two, and zero to two on my first, and sliding up there to the major third of our D chord. Okay, so once again. Slide into that F sharp, make sure it's in tune. Let's check out the right hand. Okay, here's the right hand for that D chord that's ending on the major third. Thumb, index, thumb, and then index. You're going to hammer on that one, middle finger, hammer on that one, and then pick with your thumb and middle finger. Thumb. 
just like that. And that starts on beat one. One, two, three, four. and move on. Okay, this next lick, um, I'm using 16th notes and that little crazy symbol there that looks like, you know, two little, I don't know, part of a four-leaf clover with the, two of the clovers ripped off or something. That um, is a 16th rest. So this falls on the, um, the E of beat three. So one E and a, two, uh, three E and a, four E and a. So we play on the E of three, if that makes any sense to you. Um, sounds like this. One, two, three. One, two, three. Just like that. So you give it just a hair of a rest there right before you come in on the leg. And this again is just basically a D major scale and then we end on right this note here on my third string second fret is the note A which is the fifth of, of my D chord. like that. Okay, so put that little rest in there and then you play 2nd fret 6th uh, string, open 5th string, 2nd fret of my 5th string, open 4th string, 2nd fret, slide up to my 4th fret and my 4th uh, string, open 3rd, and then hammer on 0 to 2 on my 3rd string while droning out this 1st string. tune there on the second fret third string so once again counting it feels like this one two three two three two three okay let's check out the right hand okay here's the right hand for the D chord or one chord lick that ends on the fifth. Okay, start with your thumb and you're gonna alternate between your thumb and index. Thumb, index, thumb, index, thumb, slide, index, and then play with your middle and uh, thumb there. Remember that beat, how it goes one, two, three. Two, three. Thumb, index, thumb, index, thumb, slide, index, and thumb in middle. Okay, let's go ahead and move on.